Hi and welcome. Join me today as we use this beautiful color palette of turquoise and oranges and golds and browns and a little bit of gemstone as well. Now, let's dive in. Welcome back, Sea Rockers. Today's project, we're going to get started with an 11 by 14 primed board, a design, and we're going to old school today, transferring that design onto our board. Once I had the outline I wanted, I'm using this great product I love. It's by DAP. It's Alex Fast Dry uh, Acrylic Latex Caulk. And it is so much easier to use than uh, texture paste or modeling paste. And it gives kind of a, a, a rubbery finish and it's easy to paint. I like it a lot. Now, before it dries, I'm going to go through and straighten out my lines and curves just with a damp brush. So if you have any blips, uh, fix those as well and then move on. Once all that caulking was dry, I'm gonna use my new favorite product, not love-hate product, and that is gold leafing. And uh, super easy to use. You just use the adhesive, cover it with the foil, then bam, brush it off, and you got pixie dust and some beautiful artwork. enjoying the video so far I'd appreciate it if you could splash that like button it always helps the algorithm all right it's dried and we're making our pixie dust and you'll notice that I didn't cover every last inch of the uh, the caulking and I did that on purpose because I wanted the paint to be able to reach those spots as well so it added some variation in dimension and not a solid gold line necessarily and I'm using next a product that I rarely use, which is air dry clay. But I have to say, it's a lot of fun. Maybe because it's like being in kindergarten again or something. But anyway, I'm going to add this uh, air dry clay to our piece. And watch for me to start using more of this in future art uh, because it adds so much variation to uh, the aesthetics. Um, I just really like how it turns out. And if you have any tips or tricks for me with using uh, air dry clay, please drop them in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Once I got it rolled out to the uh, thickness that I wanted, I went ahead and put it on my piece where I wanted it to be. And, and you can see here, I'm gonna go ahead and just trim this up and then smooth out the edges with a little water. Now I knew I wanted to add some texture, but I wasn't quite sure how. So I just kind of looked around, literally, and I found this little shell and I decided, hey, I'm gonna use the, the top side of that shell for some texture and pattern. And that's exactly what I did and it turned out pretty cool. Once I got that first piece of clay situated and I was happy with it, I went ahead and repeated the steps two more times on our art piece until I was happy with how everything turned out. With the lines I didn't use caulk on, I'm gonna go ahead and use my detailed hot glue gun. After everything was dry, it was time to add some more texture with one of my very favorite products. I have a lot of them, <laughs> which is a, a gloss gel medium. And this is just going to add some texture similar to like a texture paste, but this one is clear and it just, it dries faster as well. I like it. Once everything was dry, it was time for some paint. I knew my general palette was going to be 
turquoise, some complimentary orange and golds, along with the gold leafing and um, the little browns in there. So that was where I was headed, and this is how I got started. At this point, it's pretty much looking like a spotted hot mess. So it was time to let everything dry and focus on the end result. So once everything was dried, I went ahead and added some more of the Liquitex gel gloss medium, or gloss gel medium, anyway. <laughs> and uh, that, uh, in my opinion, helped a lot and it brought things together. I added and layered some more color and you can see here how it's taking shape. Once I thought my painting was done, I mixed up some pouring medium and mica powder to go over those caulk lines again where I'd put the gold leafing just to cover up some of the paint and bring back some of the gold accent. After looking at things a while, letting it sit and stew, I decided it really needed some more complementary colors. So I added this real vibrant orange and then I muted it down a little bit. So to keep this piece a little more dynamic, I wanted to make the clay pieces have a matte finish and the rest have a more glossy finish. So on the clay pieces, I used a UV clear acrylic spray and then on the other parts, I use this Arteza satin varnish. Now, for those of you who don't know me as a glass artist, I am all about the bling. So here I'm going to use some turquoise chips and glass beads to add some bling to our beautiful piece. I used E6000 to glue the glass beads down, and now I'm going to use diamond glaze to adhere the turquoise chips. Here's a word of warning or a helpful tip, however you want to look at it. When you're using something like diamond glaze that dries to a clear gloss and you're using it around something that has a matte finish, just be careful you don't get it on the parts or piece that you want to keep matte. We are ready to let this dry and we'll take it outside for a great reveal. Oh my goodness, what a beauty. Oh, I just love how all these colors and this color palette work together. I hope you're enjoying it too. Hey, thanks for joining me today. I hope I inspired you to try something new perhaps. I invite you to join the Sea Rocker family and like, share and subscribe with your salty friends. It really helps me out. And don't forget to follow me on my other social media platforms. Thanks for watching. And until next time, go beach or go home.